My fellow St. Lucians, some of you would recall a time in the 1970s when the world was alerted to the dangers of certain chemicals used in everyday products such as refrigerators, air conditioners, fire extinguishers, and insulating foams. These chemicals, called ozone-depleting substances, were causing damage to the Earth's protective ozone layer, allowing dangerous amounts of ultraviolet radiation to flood through. We were told that this increased exposure to UV radiation can lead to skin cancers and eye cataracts in humans and can cause damage to plant and marine life, thus affecting our food security. As a result of this, the world was driven to action to find a solution to this problem, and in 1987, the Montreal Protocol on substances that deplete the ozone layer was established. For this agreement, all 197 countries of the world committed to eliminating their use of ozone-depleting substances. I am proud to say that St. Lucia has come a long way in achieving this target, having eliminated the first group of chemicals called chlorofluorocarbons or CFCs in 2008 and we are well on our way to phasing out a second group called hydrochlorofluorocarbons or HCFCs by the year 2030. In our endeavors to meet the obligations of the Montreal Protocol, St. Lucia has developed regulations to phase out and manage ozone depleting substances. Measures were put in place to monitor and control the import and export of these substances, including the institution of import quotas and a licensing system. To prevent illegal trade, we have trained customs and other enforcement officers in the identification and classification of refrigerants and related equipment and the enforcement of the licensing quota system. I urge all importers and retailers of refrigerants and related equipment to comply with these regulations. In partnership with the United Nations Industrial Development Organization and the United Nations Environment Program, we have provided training for refrigeration and air conditioning technicians in good refrigeration and air conditioning management practices as well as in the safe use of alternative refrigerants. We have also equipped the two main refrigeration training centers, one at the Safa Lewis Community College and the other at the Center for Adolescent Renewal and Education Care, with the proper tools to provide the much needed training on flammable refrigerant alternatives to ozone depleting substances. Today, September 16th, 2021, we join the rest of the world to celebrate the International Day for the Protection of the Ozone Layer, or World Ozone Day as it is more commonly known. The theme for this year's observance is Montreal Protocol, keeping us our food and vaccines cool. The Montreal Protocol is considered one of the most successful environmental agreements to date. It started as a global agreement to protect the ozone layer and has done so much more protecting human health, economies and ecosystems. It has contributed to slowing down climate change and helped to boost energy efficiency in the cooling subsector, keeping us, our food and vaccines cool. While the current increase in global temperatures are a reminder of the importance of cooling in our tropical climate, ensuring that our homes, offices and cars are comfortable, this year's observance reminds us of the importance of the refrigerated cold chain in sustaining life. The cold chain takes our food from the farm to the table. It links producers and growers across the world to the domestic refrigerator in our kitchens. And it is essential for much more than food. In the health sector, the cold chain is critical to the transportation and storage of temperature sensitive products that include but are not limited to vaccines, blood products, and a range of medicines that support common health services. The world today is going through a challenging and unprecedented time due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Lives and economies have been affected in one way or the other. Despite the odds, we can overcome this, not as individuals, but rather as a collective. The strength of unity demonstrated by countries around the globe when they took action to phase out and ultimately ban the harmful ozone depleting substances is a reminder of how global issues can be solved through international cooperation and that we all have a part to play in the preservation of human health and the environment.